most businesses today are using this marketing tool to generate faster results than ever before. More brand awareness, more conversions, and more sales. Can you guess the marketing tactic we're talking about? Hi everyone, I'm Rob Palowitz, President and CEO of Palo Creative, and this is your game plan for growth. Did you know that 87% of businesses are utilizing video marketing? Why, you may ask? Videos are engaging, informative, and a powerful way to reach and appeal to customers' needs and desires. In fact, people are four times more likely to watch a video about your product or service than read about it. We're just too busy. Social media is putting video at the forefront to give users a better experience and to help companies build their brands. This allows them to engage their customers in a way they haven't been able to before. Now, before you jump in and start dedicating time and resources into making videos, there are questions you may have and factors you need to consider to ensure your video marketing is done right. For starters, what are your marketing goals? Well, you may be asking, what does this have to do with making a video? It's actually the most important part. Take a moment and ask yourself, why are we doing this? So this means evaluating your own marketing goals and strategy to determine if video aligns with them. How will video resonate with your target persona? Can a video better communicate your product or service to get people to convert? Perhaps your goal is to be active in channels your persona spend their time. Network TV, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, and many others. Being mindful of the why from the beginning will ensure any resources you allocate will be used efficiently. How much of your marketing budget should you allocate for video? 5%, 50%, all in, zero? Well, regardless, you have to have a plan because the video equipment, the production, the editing, whether you're doing it in-house or outsourcing it, if you don't have this plan, the numbers can add up real quick. And again, you need to consider where you can best reach your audience. Is a TV quality commercial necessary to get your message across? Or would a simple Instagram story taken from your phone be sufficient? How long should your video be? Well, in today's world of instant gratification in which attention spans are shorter than that of a goldfish, do a fact check on that, videos that are short, sweet, and straight to the point make the most sense to winning customers. And marketers have taken note. In the last year, 56% of all videos published online were less than two minutes long. However, some messages are more complex than others and a longer video is necessary and also appreciated by your target persona. Also, users expect different video lengths on different platforms. Be mindful of where your video will be seen in order to determine the best length of time. Speaking of which, how do you want to promote this video? This is the one question many people struggle with answering. There's so much focus on the video itself that the how and where to use and display the video totally gets lost. The easiest answer here is to promote your video content at a minimum on your website and organically on your social media channels. Are you all well represented on Facebook? How about LinkedIn if you're a B2B? If yes, then focus on creating video content for those platforms and further strengthen your hold on the audience there. If not, do research and find out which platforms would be best for your brand and the best results. There are also many paid advertising options available on social media, as well as placements such as video search ads on YouTube. Then of course, traditional TV media buys still work and can be a great way to reach your target. And this is your coach, Rob Palowitz. Thanks for watching the Game Plan for Growth show and stay tuned for our next episode as we share with you the playbook for growing your business.